question from the Outrix community uh, from a very uh, new user. Um, what he want to do is very simple. He want to create a tool for a monthly process and then he has a data set and want to extract data into multiple Excel files based on director name. And then in each of the Excel file, he wants to create a pivot. So I have a mock-up a data table in Excel. So we can see a director name, right? And then we can see their revenue, right? So this is a very simple um, table just to demonstrate how to extract um, the file, uh, these directors into uh, Excel, right? So let me let me close this file, All right? So what you do is uh, you open up Outrix, right? And then uh, you begin a new workflow. So what you do is um, you <coughs> wait. Sorry, let me get my file. Okay, what you do is, all right, you just drag the, the Excel spreadsheet uh, to the canvas, right? And then, uh, and then select the sheet that you need, right? And you click on OK, right? Then you basically, you have a preview of the director name and their revenue. So this is their, this is the table from Excel. All right so what you need to do is uh, you need to grab uh, a filter tool right so yeah so this is the filter tool right so you want to split the table up by uh, director so what you do is in the direct in the filter right you choose the director name right then uh, then you put in uh, his name so the first first name is uh, Ahmad right then uh, just copy this filter two times right because there are two two other directors so what you do is right you filter and then you change the name to the other director All right so always connect from the source to the next uh, icon right so the next director's name is uh, Jason so just replace the name with Jason All right so you can test the workflow by clicking on run here All right and then uh, so this field uh, then if you click on true t right the statement when the statement is true then you get the result so you get Ahmad right here Ahmad 1000 and then uh, the force right will have uh, the uh, the rest of the director's name so true the next one is true Darren and true uh, Jason right so going back to the question he wants to split the results into a few different Excel file. So this is very easy. So you just click on, uh, uh, you just select the output data tool, right? Right. Then you select the file type, right? So file type you can be, uh, for example, XLS or XLSX. So I just I just select XLS. Um, then you you type the director's name, all right, as the file name, right. Then you just click on save, right. Then you specify the sheet that you want the data to be extracted to. So you can put like maybe revenue, right. Um, okay output options so you need to select override sheet drop so 
when you have a uh, when you have a new month, right? You just replace this director Excel as act file in uh, the folder here, right? Uh, make sure it's uh, this exactly the same uh, Excel name, right? Then you just replace the file, right? Then you just click run. Then uh, then you have have uh, three. You you have you will have three files. Oh, okay. So let me complete the workflow first. So you have this the uh, Darren, right? So you can see Darren and revenue sheet, right? And then you just copy two more times for the other two directors, right? So you connect uh, this, right? Oh, actually this should be uh, Ahmad. So you just simply change this, right? It's very easy to use outreach. Then this one, okay, this is correct. So override sheet drop, yep. Then this is for uh, Jason, right? Just connect it, right? Then just just rename this to Jason, right? Then you run it. You run the the outreach, right? It's done. So now the folder will have. Uh, three, three more, three more of uh, file, right? And then if you double click on Ahmad, right? You can see uh, Ahmad's uh, data, right? In the revenue sheet, right? So he he also wants a pivot, right? So actually you just okay. There's not enough data here. It's fine. So just just create. Um, a pivot right here right I just want to demonstrate how how the uh, pivot will be automatically refreshed next month so director right revenue right 1000 right <clears throat> and then and then uh, the trick about Excel is uh, for it to automatically refresh is you go to pivot table options right you go to data right then you click tick on refresh data when opening the file so next month when you have new data the pivot will be refreshed automatically right press ok right so just remember your data source actually your data should source should maybe um, take the whole uh, the whole uh, take the all the rows so that you won't miss anything next month if there are more data right so you can just press on uh, okay right you can get rid of the blanks if you want right so this is for Ahmad right so you save save the file right so remember Ahmad is 1000 right so what I do now is um, I am going to right pretend that this is a new month right and then I'm going to change this director's file right so so Ahmad is 1000 right so maybe I put uh, another another line for Ahmad right another 1000 right I save it right so what you do in Outrix right because the director's folder is in the if uh, director's file is in the same folder as uh, as the previous month right? there's no need to for you to change anything so if you need to change if the power path have changed or the director's file have changed uh you change the name of the director's file just 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 type in the new uh director's file name here i recommend not to change the name so that uh every month you can just you know just run it so what i what we do is just just run it again right you will grab the new da data here yeah? you see how much have two rows now right and then we open up uh, Ahmad's file, right? Right? Mm. 
No, it's not. It's not picking. The fever is not picking up. I wonder why. Hmm. Oh, you need still need to refresh it. See, it will pick up two thousand. <clears throat> okay, let us try again, right? Refresh that up and opening the file. Yep. And close this file. Hmm, maybe it's the I'm using an older version of Excel. <clears throat> so let let us add another um uh, a thousand for <clears throat> for uh what and see. Let's see how we go. Alright, so we run again. <coughs> so we open our mic. Ah, it's 3000 now, right? So it's it pick up three three rows of our mic. So I uh, hope this uh, simple tutorial will help you uh, if you are happy with this solution please subscribe on my channel thank you so much please feel also please feel free to ask me any questions i'm willing to help you uh thank you